I get to see a lot of Drupal websites through the training that I do. And I love the people that build these sites. Drupal developers, site builders, administrators, you're all fantastic. But sometimes I think we forget the end user experience as we're building out these sites and we miss a few critical steps. Hi, thanks for joining me today. This is OS Tips from OS Training. My name's Rod Martin. This is the beginning of a series. I'm gonna kind of focus on some of the most important extensions, modules, components, whatever you want to call them for your CMS of choice that I think sometimes we miss, but make for a much better user experience, especially for content editors and other site builders. And we're going to start with Drupal. As I mentioned in the intro, I get to see a lot of Drupal websites and more often than not, the developers or site builders that put them together miss some of the most important but simple fixes they can do in order to make the user experience so much better for content editors and other people who use the sites they hand off. So in this series, like I said, we're going to start off with some must have extensions. In this case, modules for Drupal, I think every site builder needs. Let's dive in. So for this first set of favorite should install modules and changes to configuration, I'm going to focus in on the content editing experience. Now, there's a lot of different modules that I would add to Drupal right out of the box. In fact, Dries is talking about taking modules out of core in Drupal 11. There are some modules I really wish were in core, and here's a few of them. All right, the first couple are right here on the screen. Number one, scheduler. Both WordPress and Joomla automatically schedule content. Can't believe it's not in core. It's one of the very first things I add because even I like to be able to schedule my content even on my own blog. So scheduler, no brainer. I'll show it to you in a minute. EXT link. Drupal doesn't open external links in a new browser or window. Well, that takes care of that. There's a few modules that do this. This is my favorite. Link it. Again, can't believe this isn't in core. When you go and create a link in a text area field or a body field, you actually have to know the link internally. So link it takes care of that with an autocomplete widget. And then advanced link adds all kinds of advanced elements to your internal and external linking like title, target, no follow, and more. Lastly, content lock. Again, both WordPress, Joomla, and most other CMSs lock the content when an editor is updating a node. Drupal doesn't do that. A few months ago, I was doing a training for an enterprise client, and one of their questions was, well, is there content locking? And I got to be honest, I didn't know at the time, so I went and looked it up. And of course, there's a module for that. But this is a bit of a no-brainer if you have multiple editors working on a Drupal site. So let's take a quick peek and see how I would use these five modules and update the editor experience. First off, let's take a look at link it, ext link, and advanced linking. Here under content authoring, text formats, and editors, I've updated the basic HTML. First off, when we installed link it, you enable it here and choose a profile. Link it URL converter will automatically convert URLs to links. And with the advanced links, you need to either turn off correct faulty and chopped HTML or add the various elements to the list in the dropdown. All right, let's quickly take a look and see what that did. I'm going to click on content and go to my test page. I've already added a few links. Here's a link to an internal node. And again, all I have to do here is type a letter in the title. It'll give me the dropdown and I can click on it. Advanced links then gives me area label, CSS classes. How handy is that? ID and the rel tag. Now, advanced link also does this open in a new window and tab, but I prefer ext link because it's automatic. I've got a link here to Google. And when I view this node and open this, there it is. It opens in a new browser window automatically. 
I head over to my test article and click on the node, I've enabled the scheduler module here. Pops up here with scheduling options for the node. You can either require or not require these. It's as simple as that. Drupal will then publish your node when it's ready. It works with workflows and it works with Workbench. The scheduler module is again one of those no-brainers. Finally, as you can see on the screen, we've got the node lock module. This content is now locked against simultaneous editing. The content will remain locked if you navigate away from this page without saving it or unlocking it. Now, here's the cool thing. There's also a timeout. If I walk away from this node after whatever time limit you set, typically I would put it at 15 or 30 minutes, the node will automatically unlock itself. As a super user or administrator, of course, you have the ability to break the lock as well. Down here, there's a new button called unlock. And finally, the module adds a new mass action where you can break the lock on a node. All right, so obviously just part of a series here, five really simple fixes. Being able to have an autocomplete widget for internal linking rather than having to know the actual URL or node ID. Wow, that's such a huge time saver. Having the ability to lock a node when a node is being edited. Scheduling nodes for publication. Oh, the EXT link module, allowing any external link to open automatically in a new page. And then of course, the advanced linking that you saw when we created a link. Now there's more there and you may have noticed I've updated the toolbar to use the media manager, which again, no brainer to me. I'll talk more about media modules in an upcoming video. But for now, there's five must have modules to make your editing experience way better in Drupal 9. Thanks for joining me today. This has been OS Tips from OS Training. My name is Rod Martin. We produce a new video every week. We'd love you to subscribe. Hey, like the video, throw a comment in there. Hey, if you've got any favorite modules, throw it in the comments and we'll see if we can include it in an upcoming video.